Hello guys, welcome back to Odin's Electric. Today I will be using the Flu 9040 phase rotation indicator meter to check the rotary field of a three phase system. So before you attempt to do this test, I strongly recommend that you wear the correct PPEs and also have someone with you that knows how to turn off the correct breaker or isolator or press the e-stop that controls the circuit that you will be working on you know in case of an emergency so please to consider that this genset that i'm walking towards was out for repair and now my task is to connect it back to our electrical system but before i can use it to power any of our equipment um i first need to check the phase rotation now before you attempt to use a phase rotation meter, please to check the operating voltage because some of them have different operating voltage. This one however that I am using, its maximum operating voltage is 690 volts and the system that I am using it on is 420 volts. So this one is well within range. All right. Now, if you look carefully at the meter, you will see that each test lead is specific for each phase. From left of the meter, you can see that the first test lead is labeled line 1, the second line 2, and the third line 3. If connected in the same format on the system that you are testing, you should get a clockwise rotation. All right? I know you are probably wondering how comes my line 1 is to my right but it is because I am actually at the back of the panel and these wires can only be accessed from the back of the panel, it cannot be accessed from the front. However, if I should go to the front of the panel, line 1 will be on my left, okay? If you get an anti-clockwise rotation, that could mean one of two things. Either the test leads are incorrectly connected, like in this video, or the phase are incorrectly connected. Now the first thing to do is to check your test leads if they are properly connected. If they are, then <laughs> you need to swap any two phase on your system either line 1 and 2, line 1 and 3, or line 2 and 3, and that should solve your problem. Alright, let's look at a case. Let's say we didn't do this test, and the direction was incorrect. We could damage a lot of equipment because, alright, if a pump normal operation is clockwise, when the phase rotation is clockwise and the phase rotation is changed, it will cause the pump to go in the opposite direction, you know, which could damage the equipment. So that is just one scenario. And let's say that happened to every equipment that you have running. Um, on the plant, <laughs> you know that that will be costly. Understand? So it is important to do this test um, in cases like this. Okay. There you have it, guys. How to check and correct the rotary field of your tree phase system. I hope this video was of help to you and I'll see you in the other one.